All right, Steven, let's see if we can see some breathing on here. All right, good. So that's a pretty good breath. It looks like you have one gog underneath the water. I like that a lot. Um, as you start that breath, you kind of see how your other C is up above the water. So you kind of lifted your head in this way here to start out with. All right, almost like you're lifting it back. Make sure you just kind of turn that head, almost like you're shaking your head no. It's like you'd want to shake your head no to Ryan. You know, keep your head nice and still. Just turn your head, just a slight turn to the side, not so much up and down. Because right here, it's laying in the water perfectly. But you kind of see, you kind of see how it's up, right? And then it starts to fall back down into a perfect head position in the freestyle. That breath right there is ideal. This elbow bend in freestyle, so good. I like that a lot. You want to make sure you try to get that head down in the water a little bit earlier. All right, so here as you go through, you can see that your hand is entering and your eyes are still pointing to the side. So get that head down and uh, make that bright breathing a little bit earlier at the beginning so your head's down a little bit earlier at the end. And the other thing that was interesting, you can kind of see, go frame by frame, look at your head. You can of see how your head comes up, right? And then it starts to go back down, almost as if you're doing a butterfly. And as good as you are a butterfly, we don't want to do the butterfly on the freestyle. Good breath there. That was a much better breath there, actually. Going side by side here, I want you to see one thing again. You kind of see your hands entering. You're still finishing that breath. You don't want to make, we want to make sure we're not breathing that last stroke in your turn. You want about two strokes into each wall without a breath. If you can work on that, that will help get you into your wall a little bit better. Good streamline, but you kind of see that you're already turned over on your stomach a little bit, and you're just pushing off the wall. So again, make sure you come off on that back just to begin with. Go jump away for the dolphin kicks. Okay, this breakout was much better. Your hand was here, your head's just breaking the surface, you're past the flags. That breakout was much better than the first one we saw, so I like that, Steven. Excellent. Be careful not to let that elbow drop. Make sure your hand is entering probably about 12 inches past your shoulder, and then it drives forward, okay? Steven, well done. Thanks so much.